Hey, Lego people. All right, let's talk about re Welcome to Apocalypseburg. This set came out from the Lego Movie 2, and it is a huge, huge set. I know you saw a video, my haul video, when I got it, and so I have been working on it for the past week, and uh, I, I feel like it is definitely worthy showing you guys the inside and uh, all about it. So let's take a look. All right, so if you see right now, it's pretty much gonna be, this is bags one through 10. And you can see how tall it already is. And if we spin it around, it's like it's seriously like it's got some height to it now I'm not sure how much taller it's gonna be but it is really massive so let's take a look at what we have built so far and kind of show you around um, and then we will take a pause and when I get some more done we'll show you some more stuff so basically the first actual build that I did for this set was the coffee shop. And here is what is inside the coffee shop. Basically we have, uh, it looks like a couple of gas pumps, which I mean, if you drink coffee well enough, you know some people definitely refer to it as fuel. So it kind of makes sense. And then we got like a little menu over here. So it's kind of like an apocalypse theme Starbucks with some chicken croissant spiders, which I would not order, and rats. And look, there's a rat right in the case. So, and then you got some coffee cups and stuff in there and a little stool and just somewhere to sit and, and hang out and drink your fuel. So that was the actual first build that there was. And then there was this little police uh, like office over here and in here it looks like there's just a drawing of what looks to be Harley Quinn and oh I think it matches sure does so here is that and then we over here it's got kind of like a regular little jail cell door looks like red and blue for for the police colors and stuff. And then inside, you see this little thing in here? So basically, that flips down, okay? And then you put your chair on there. And then what happens is this little knob over here, when you flip this down, you kinda look, the chair landed way over here. So, I don't know if it's a way for them to escape or if it's when they're not happy with them anymore, they just toss them out. So, <laughs> but anyway, it's really cool. And in the instruction book, there's a little picture of don't hit your friends in the eyes with Legos. So, <laughs> which is always funny to me. So then over here, what we got is it looks like a little camper, like the edge of a camper over here with some broken glass and then like the, the awning part here and then there's a basketball hoop that's made with a with a wire rim kind of like a barbed wire rim and garbage can over here which I'm gonna go with it's that's holding what is meant to be the basketball which we'll take that out put that back and here is what I'm gonna go with they're using as a basketball which is basically a robot minifigure head. So they'll play some ball, toss it in there, and there you go. And then they put it away until the next time they play. So that's over there. And then let's see. So on this side here, it looks like they got a gym all set up and everybody needs a place to work out. So we got a nice little punching bag, which I think is just really cute. They have like a little... It looks like a Duplo eyeball on there, because, of course, if you remember the movie correct, they are in Apocalypseburg to try and save their own lives from the Duplo monsters. <laughs> and then, so then we have over here, we have some weights that's made out of a broomstick, and it looks like some 
what's supposed to be some tires and then a steering wheel. So very creative way to have a gym and keep in shape. So then we got like a little ladder here and oh, let's see. So then over here, it looks like there's just kind of like a, in a sewage area where water is going to come out. You know, we got some water here and some soap bubbles and a little bar of soap. So kind of like where they're going to get cleaned up and stuff. And then there's a bathtub here. And so maybe it's not a sewage area. So yeah, fail. Uh, <laughs> it is where they wash. So here's your steering wheel for a shower, uh, a shower turn on off knob, which is actually kind of creative for if you were going to actually make something in an actual like mock modular house, a regular one, there is no reason why a steering wheel couldn't be used for the same purpose, I guess. I, I think it works out well. So this is basically, it looks like it's going to be like the front end of a car. And then what they did, they emptied all, all the stuff that was under the hood. And it is now a bathtub with a yellow frog. <laughs> so, yep, yay. All right. And then over here... We just have some stuff. This has not, this side hasn't fully developed yet, so I'm not quite sure what it's going to be, but we have a fish. We have a stick with a tassel thing on it, so I'm not sure, but we'll see. And then here, there is, looks like somewhere where they're going to hide stuff. There's an egg in there. I'm not really sure. I had to rewatch the movie. Maybe I'll put that on while I'm building the rest of this. <laughs> so and then over here it looks like we have like maybe the front end of that camper that we had on the other side with the awning because you can see the front there with half of the grill and just like one of the the little headlights and then it moves around in there there is not just so you know a door or anything in here so it's basically just for for show quote unquote um and then there's some surfboards over here and it looks like a little a little fire which i'm gonna go with i don't understand why they would have fire so close to propane tanks but i mean i guess things are different and less flammable in mini fig land i don't know but i i will see if if the set blows up i'll let you know so anyway, so that's pretty much all we have for now. And then, of course, we're back over to the coffee shop. So that's what we got so far. Again, bags 1 through 11. And here are the mini figs that we have acquired in this set as well. So far, there are a ton of them. So here we got Harley Quinn. We got Joe the Coffee Guy. We have, I have to definitely uh, brush up on my names of everybody, so I am really not going to be sure who a lot of these people are. Uh, so we got this muscly blonde guy with a nice chainsaw. And then, of course, we have Emmett. Who doesn't know who Emmett is? If you do not know who Emmett is, you kind of fail at Lego, I guess. <laughs> no, that's not really true. But everybody should know who Emmett is. And then we got Batman who is like super, like, he is pumped up and ready to go and fight. And like, he, it's crazy. He's, he's all kinds of like got stuff going on. And then we got Scribble Cop, who does have uh, two faces. So there is this one and then regular face. So I, I personally... I prefer this one, so this one's going to stick out. So, and his outfit, really cool. He is all decked out in, like, jean jackets and zippers and stuff. So, there's Zipper Cop. Or, sorry, it's not Zipper Cop. Scribble Cop. Wow, I need coffee. So, and then we have this Chickadee Doo. Not really sure who that is, but I will find out. <laughs> and then we got a guy here with a welder's mask on. And I'm going to go with the, with, he's supposed to be, uh, He's, he's going to be this guy. So I will, again, I'll find out who this is and, and we'll, we'll have all the info when we, when we come back. So, but he does have a welder's mask, which is really cool. I did not have, um, any headgear like that yet. So, so those are the minifigs we got so far. And in front of you, what you're seeing here is the pieces and parts from bag 11. So I am going to go start with this. Get this put together, and when there is more over here, we will come back and go over more. All right, guys, see you soon.
All right, guys, so we are back real quick, and I'm going to just flash this up here uh, before we talk about it, which is just really crazy. But before that, so this is the start of bag 12, which I think is going to end up being really cool. Um, but anyway, bag 11, bam. Basically, all it was was this this uh, this ledge, this thing, I, I don't know. It's got a ladder. It's got a light. It's held up by these two beam things, and it looks like it's going to be like a hand of some sort. You know, there is going to be a Statue of Liberty head up here somewhere, but uh, so this is basically all that was, all them pieces from bag 11 is, uh, is right there what you see. So bag 12, starting out now, like, is for real... It is the beginnings of a tattoo shop, which I think is just super awesome. If you don't know, I have plenty of tattoos all up and down. They are friendly cartoony, though, so um, this is a little more grungy and, you know, edgy and stuff. But hey, nothing wrong with that. I think it's really cool that this is going to be an included thing in any kind of Lego build. Um, but I am telling you about it now because uh, here's the next the next uh, step is, is to put that there. And then basically this is going up here. So in order for you to be able to see in there well i figured i would just give you a, a glimpse before i put a wall on so i'm gonna keep going with this and then we will be back to see more i'm excited for this oh there, there's a nice little view little tattoo needle all right see you soon all right so here is bag 14 so we just went over uh bag 13 here and the tattoo shop and all that stuff and what's going to happen is this piece is going to end up going up on top of here modularly and sit on top of there but on top of this is going to go this stuff but i wanted to show you around inside here before i put it all together because this so far has got to be almost one of my favorite parts that i've actually made so this basically it looks like this is going to be Lucy or Wild Styles like her bedroom where she hangs out, where she sleeps, where she goes to like brood and be grumpy and and all that stuff. So you can see there's her bed and we have a picture next to her bed of Unikitty all tough guyed out and we have a little picture of Emmett. And you will notice also that her bedroom is pretty much made out of black and gray so all these like emo kind of colors and stuff so and then we have a uh, another sticker piece here with with a picture of a house on there and then what was really cool is if you see her bed here actually the uh, this comes right off and inside we have some treasures so there's a little a uh, little thing with a Batman symbol on there and a picture of Batman because we do know that, oh, they were a thing for a good minute. And, you know, so she's still got a picture of him and he's just hanging out in there under her bed. And now her new love, Emmett, has a better place on the wall next to her head where she sleeps. So anyway, enough of that squish. So then we have a another sticker piece here for a popular band and if you've seen the movie you know so if you know you know so i think that was really kind of funny and uh some it looks like some black lipstick also ooh, also in there you can see in the in the edge there so this pops back on here and that is her bed she sleeps on a couple crates Maybe that's why she's grumpy. That can't be very comfortable. So anyway, and then her door is just like a little piece of fabric there that just slides open and closed. And then it there's a part here that pops on with a chair and like a lookout where she can sit and brood, as Emmett calls it. And uh, she's, there's just a couple little little skull decorations up here and you know just you know just basically fits her mood i guess so this is just like basically her room gonna go on top of this we will pop that on all right so that pops on there just like that 
And there's bags 14 and 15, and then that's gonna pop right up on there. So let's get that hooked on. Okay, there we go, that is popped on. So we have looking very good. It's getting to be very complete. I only have bags 15 through 18 to go. So let's take a look. So we got bags 15 out here ready to open and it looks like what we're gonna be making is the Statue of Liberty's head. So I am gonna get on that guys. Wish me luck and I will talk to you guys soon and we'll see some more stuff. All right, here it is. It's all done. Check it out. It's huge. <laughs> like, super huge. Don't mind me. I'm just watching Lego Masters. <laughs> Australia, season three. Anyway, watching it again. I've already finished it. But, so, it's all done. When we left off last time, we were going to start bag 15 and build the head and then move on from there. So here is, let's start with the minifigures that we have gotten uh, since then. We did get Wild Style, we got the Flash, and we got to wear my pants guy. So these minifigs are the last of the ones that all came with the set. A total of, let me just count them right quick, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 12 minifigures all together, which is awesome. So many. And I took the uh, welder's mask off here of the, uh, the pirate guy. So here is just one more scroll through of the minifigures that came with the set. Super, super cool. So many. I love the minifigures. <laughs> so anyway, Statue of Liberty's head. This is the first time I've actually built like a, a face or anything out of Lego. You watch all these shows and they build like the people and even on Instagram you see pictures and stuff and I've never actually done it. Um, it was really kind of cool. I don't know if I would attempt to do it on my own, but it was not terrible. Um, so there is that. And if you look real close, you can see there's something hidden away inside her crown thing there. So if we come up here and we just pop this off here, there we go. So inside is like a hidden little bedroom. So there's a bed and a telescope where you can look around, see what's going on, spy on people, because no one's going to think you're in there. And a poster and a glass in case you get thirsty up in the sky, because really you are really far up. And then just a couple other posters and stuff. And then we just pop this back on. Easy peasy. Done, closed up. I will spin around. And a couple more of the details that we had added on. Uh, we got this kitchen. All right, so we have this kitchen set up here with a hamburger and a menu. And it looks like in Apocalypse Land, Apocalypse Berg, you can't afford a real hot dog or they just don't have them and you have to actually eat metal spikes in a bun. So, but at least you can get ketchup and mustard, I guess. So anyway, we got this night, nice, that nice little thing. And then up there you can climb up the ladder and you can get up to this area here where you would shine this light around, be able to see what's going on. And then we have a extra little light over here or a foghorn. I'm not really sure what it is, but it just kind of dangles off the side there. And then let's see, there was like basically just like we built the torch and stuff and we'll go up there cause there's something really cool to see up there. So, and then down here we basically have just like a table and a couple places to sit after you get your, you know, metal lunch. <laughs> and uh, over here, there's a map. So 
go this way for there, go that way for there, go that way for that. So there we go with all that. And that's about it for the little details that were on the outside. So, and then up here we have the torch, which is up extremely high. So I'm gonna just back out here. And just, if you look at the set itself, you can tell that it's super massive. But check this out because I did this and I just thought this was so, don't look at that, sorry, yeah. I thought this was so cool. So we're gonna spin it around, okay? So if you actually like climb up all these ladders and you get up to the top, right? And you uh, get on this balcony here. So we'll take Harley Quinn and we'll put her up here. And we'll just have her look down. So just the view to look down to the bottom. If we can focus, there we go. So there's... There's Harley Quinn and there's the bottom. Now, I don't know about you, but this is kind of giving me fear of heights. <laughs> like it is super, super up there. So let's take Harley Quinn and we'll just tip her off the edge. She's on the floor. She's all right, I promise. But anyway, it's just really tall. So it's really cool that they have a little landing up there that they can hang out on too. And then from down here, if you look all the way up, that's from the bottom here. That's how high it is from down there. So if we take another little guy, put him up there and hang him out. Look how little he looks. <laughs> so, this is Welcome to Apocalypse Park, guys. It's great. It was super fun to build. It did take me like three days longer than I wanted to, but life and adulting and all that super not fun stuff got in the way. But, now comes the fun part and we get to figure out how and where to get this in the city. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of Welcome to Apocalypseburg. And please, if you have any, 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 any thoughts, ideas, or anything, here's just like a, a quick scroll for through the city from, from where I build. So this is, you know, this is what I got to work with. If you guys got any ideas on where it could go, let me know. Put it in the comments below. I am willing to move stuff around and, and do, um, but in the meantime, I'm going to try to figure out where to put it. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can make it work because that was the whole point of getting it. So, all right, guys, I will talk to you all really, really soon, show you where I put this. And until that time, it is just my bricks and me. Bye, guys.